Hi everyone, this is Angela Prislinski and welcome to my YouTube family. I know there are a lot of people on Instagram who keep asking me questions about uh, about a lot of things actually. And the most frequent question that is how do I have such a tiny waist? Uh, actually, the major part would be genetics and what I eat. That is absolutely the major part that you know what you eat is what you show what your body shows so uh, if you only eat junk you don't watch what you eat of course you can't have a tiny waist but of course everyone knows that you know eating right is important going to the gym is important but along with that like you know some people are born with broader structures like you know they can't have like this hourglass figure and they cannot have uh, like a tiny waist and uh, it's it's really difficult so for this uh, i'm gonna give you one secret okay so today we're gonna talk about waist trainers waist training when i want to tiny your waist and when i've gone off diet and uh, it's very difficult for me to get back in shape so that's when what i do oh, i have a very important shoot and i need to look really pretty and nice and perfect so what i do is i start waist training so uh, I initially start with one hour a day. It's pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult to even talk. And yeah, that's the whole idea. Like you start with one hour a day um, in, in a week's time, just increase the time to eight hours a day. And yeah, that's it. Just wear the waist trainer. Just go around everywhere wearing this, uh, not like this, wear a t-shirt over it. There are few rules of uh, using a waist trainer, right? First rule, uh, there are three knobs here. There are three levels, okay? I'm on the level one because I just started wearing it. Because I don't wear it all the time, but I just started it. So start from things that are comfortable to you. Because you're going to wear it for eight hours or you're going to wear it for longer hours. So don't push yourself too much. Secondly, uh, your diet really matters. Like you want a slimmer waist and you've been eating everything. No, you're not going to get it so yeah have a good diet drink loads of water i wear my waist trainer uh, for uh, even when i'm eating food because that's the key when your waist is shrunken so much you can't eat like you know basically now that i'm talking i have issues talking also because it's so difficult even breathing because it's so tight that's what it is so Wear it when you eat also because your portion size, your food portion size will be really smaller. So you automatically eat lesser, automatically have a tiny waist. So that's the key. Wear it while you're eating, wear it while you're moving around, wear it while you go to office, wear it everywhere. So some people might just say, oh, okay, fine. Because when I told my mom that, you know, you can use a waist trainer to have tiny waist, my mom's instant reaction was like, no, that's not right actually because it could be injurious to you and don't wear it while you sleep because you, you never know like maybe you might just have a bad dream, you might have a panic attack. It's very difficult to get out of the waist trainer. So please don't wear this while you are sleeping. Don't do that and uh, don't wear it while you're sleeping don't wear it while you uh, do like you know high intensity workout okay if you do you're doing weights or you're doing yoga and things like that it's okay you can actually pull it off but uh, don't use it while doing like heavy cardio like high intensity workout don't do that because you might just lose your breath it's so difficult to actually get out of it it's very difficult and Initially, when you're not used to the whole idea of wearing waist trainers, so that time it's pretty difficult for you. You might just not like the whole feeling of something around your waist and things like that. So, uh, when I remove this waist, right now my waist is like some 19 inches or 18 inches, like the actual waist. That's how it is. And when I remove my waist trainer, it is around 23 or 24 inches. And when I don't usually waist train, I my waist size is 25 inches. So yeah, there is a massive difference when I waist train. I do have different kind of waist trainers. 
uh, this is one that I use because it's it has a lot of support and I like the material and it doesn't hurt me much of course it does hurt everyone <laughs> but yes it's good so this is another kind of waist trainer so there are hooks onto it so every time you start feeling comfortable you start going a level up so it's like that so yeah that's about it that's my waist training journey and I shall keep you okay fine so how long do you wear it I wear it for eight hours for almost two weeks or three weeks and I get to see results because see it is simple science you know you don't eat that much portion of food you eat lesser portion of food because there's something on your waist all the time you don't feel like eating you just don't feel like eating junk because you know there's something on there so automatically your waist becomes tinier and then you know you're basically training your waist and also the rib area to go inside so automatically you have this kind of a figure which is like a V like you know which just comes inside a hourglass figure basically so yeah so that's what I do to get a perfect tiny waist a lot of people keep commenting that oh my god you look like a Barbie doll and things like that that's how you get a Barbie waist so that was for today and I love you all I just want to say that keep loving keep supporting and if you want to know more such things, you can DM me and I can actually make videos of what you want to know. I love you all so much. And keep liking and keep supporting.